What's going on, guys? This is another Drive Tribe snippet. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Today, we're going to be talking about a rumored uh, Ferrari successor to the F40, and the F40 is one of my favorite all-time Ferraris, so definitely uh, excited to see what could be coming, and I wanted to jump into this. This is a post by Auto News Australia on Drive Tribe, but before we get into it, make sure you check out txgarage.com for more written articles, news coverage, event coverage. Also check out our other YouTube channel for uh, automotive reviews. I'll have links down in the description for all of that if you're interested, but let's jump into this uh, article right here. So speculation from the supercar blog has caught the attention of a keen supercar enthusiast as the sites as the site states <clears throat> that sources have told them about an upcoming F40 successor with a reveal date rumored to be as early as this week. Inspired by the iconic 1980s supercar, the latest Marnello creation will be allegedly based on Ferrari's newest platform and featuring the current 3.9 twin turbo V8, uh, which in the latest F8 Tributo makes 530 kilowatts or 710 horsepower and uh, 770 meters of torque. Uh, as the source of the information is not stated, its credibility is still at large. However, we wouldn't be surprised if this one-off comes into fruition. Ferrari has made many one-offs and extremely limited run models previously for their top clients and wealthiest collectors, including ones based on historical models such as the Berlinetta Boxer-based SP12EC. And here's a shot of the F40. Compared to the F40 of the 80s, the new a new super a new successor would likely feature a 7-speed dual clutch as opposed to a 5-speed manual, and its new 3.9 twin turbo V8 would produce at least 238 horsepower more than the three-decade-old sibling, which housed a 2.9-liter twin-turbo V8 housed under a plexiglass cover. These renders were created by a concept designer and showcase a modern take on the F40, with clear inspiration hints taken from the modern Ferrari models, whilst retaining the design of the original F40 flat rear end and triangle spoiler. So the problem with stating that you're going to make a new F40 is the reason the F40 was such an iconic car is because of how light and how basic it was. Uh, it had a, a monster engine for the time, um, which I don't doubt that Ferrari can still do. But with all the regulations and things that you have today, it'd be almost impossible to make that go-kart feeling um, that Ferrari is known for with the F40. But that's my take on it. At the end here, we got a little poll. Do we want to see a successor? Heck yes, of course we do. 86% uh, agree, 11% say no, uh, and everybody else is going to let you know in the comments. But that was just a quick look at what could be a successor for the F40. Uh, is it going to be a one-off? Is it going to happen at all? Or are they actually going to do it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. With that, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up button if you did. And thanks for watching.